Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 10th of 2022, well, it is titled Total Lunar Eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, here we see three images from the total eclipse of November the 8th, just a couple of days ago. And we see the beginning, middle and end of the path through the Earth's shadow. So as we look at the image in the center, that is at the deepest part of the eclipse. And you can see that the entire moon is a deep blood red color. Now we see that because of the image and the coloring, we note that the lower portion is a much deeper red than the upper portion. And that's because it is deeper into Earth's shadow. So the upper portion of the moon there is closer to the edge of the shadow. And the other portion down towards the bottom is in the deeper portion where more light is blocked out. And only the very deepest red hues are able to make it into that deep part of the shadow. Now this occurs because of Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere will refract or bend light into the shadow. Otherwise the shadow would be completely dark and our moon would disappear during a total lunar eclipse. However, since we have an atmosphere, some light does sneak through into the shadow, giving the moon this very red color. And the deeper into the shadow you are, the very deeper color it will be. Now we can also see on the entering and exiting phases that you do see that reddish color, but you also get a much lighter color as it is exiting and entering the lunar, uh, sorry, the Earth's shadow. And you'll even get a little bit of a blue tinge there, which is due to the ozone in the Earth's atmosphere where we get the blue light uh, skimming through there as it enters and exits the shadow of Earth. Now a lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes into Earth's shadow and is blocked from receiving direct sunlight. This will happen only at the full moon when the moon is directly opposite to the sun. And that's when the Earth, moon and sun are in an exact line and we see an eclipse. However, we don't see an eclipse every month. And that's because the moon's orbit is tilted a little bit relative to the Earth and sun. And sometimes the moon passes well above the Earth's shadow and other times it Earth passes well below. Were the moon's orbit not tilted, we would get an eclipse every single month that would occur. We would get a lunar eclipse at every full moon and a solar eclipse at every new moon. However, because of that tilt, eclipses are rare and we only get to see them at very certain times when the Earth, Moon and Sun happen to be directly aligned. So that was our picture of the day for November 10th of 2022. It was titled Total Lunar Eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Ice Giant Red Moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.